the third level is where believers are thoroughly trained and thoroughly mentored but they are not connected to purpose let me tell you there is a danger for any assembly when you keep pumping anointing in people revelation revelation and the people don't know what to do with it the body of christ is in trouble for this one is why many many men of god keep having headache when you get young people a young man a young lady you are teaching them about finances teaching them about prayer and fasting do you not know that knowledge has an implication the goal of all that investment is that there must be an opportunity for them to deploy by the time a man is fasting 100 days yet there is nothing for him to do in church are we together praying the kind of power that guy has one day he's going to say listen I, I don't know what to do with all this fire locked up in my bones that's why you can give him opening prayer of two minutes and he will turn it into prophecy for one hour it's not that he's bad the fire is too much and you have not told him what to do with it and there is no opportunity to deploy it every time you begin to teach people right and to mentor them there must be in your training the systems of deploying it this is true for ministry but this is also true for government if you keep training young people you are having graduates coming graduates coming and there's no platform to be able to help them let me tell you something somebody is going to come into their life and say listen don't mind this person you can start your own church if god is calling you that's fine but if god is not calling you that that becomes the advice or you can start your own business or you can do whatever it is let me tell you it's a risk to enlighten people and leave them without purpose are we together so i'm praying every day with you i'm fasting every day with you you've now graduated from the school of ministry impartation every service you are falling down and standing up revelation after revelation a day will come knowledge is what will frustrate you not ignorance you will find yourself overdoing things and you'll be angry because the goal is to have expression something within you keeps crying for expression are we together that's the reason why a man who keeps teaching his child say how to drive help them please you are teaching someone how to drive his car you're teaching him how to do something and you leave him there the gentleman can drive and yet there's no car to drive one day what do you think is going to happen talk to me you did it so you know one day when he's not around you say listen uh, this this fire is 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 this this thing i need to drive god never designed people to remain members forever listen listen just listen just listen when i say not to be members listen people don't have to be around you to be with you are we together now that means if god is training you and one day god gives you a job with african union or un you have become an extension of what we represent are, are we together the joy is to see that now the value for you ah i prophesied oh this thing i just said this is a prophetic word in the name of jesus christ please sit down this is the aspect that is missing in church and i say this respectfully speaking there is quality training quality mentorship training but there are no platforms so you find out leaders who should be changing society are dying with church fanatism nothing for them you see people who should change there are people who qualify to be governors leaders but they are not aspiring because they have not been taught that purpose is also spiritual moses whereas you should be helping israel 
Joseph, you should be bringing solutions to the economic problems of Israel, whereas you are there quietly with a small life. This is what this is why we are not able to translate our Christian experience to a context that transforms society. It is the reason why when you say you are a Christian, especially in Africa, most times they just look at you as if you are just a fanatic with no value to society. Is someone learning? Let me tell you this. I have said it and I will say it again. Preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with the anointing. Preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with revelation. If we don't mentor the younger generation properly, there will be trouble. Because when these guys are accessing light, it's important for them to know that the seven mountains are also platforms of ministry. So that the person who now is routing the part of politics and the one who is staying to become a national prophet, they are doing the same thing in the realm of the spirit. You cannot say the one who is at the altar is higher than the one who is in government. No, no. Without Esther, the Jews would die. Are we together? It took Joseph manning the helm of affairs to preserve the purposes of God. Africa needs to understand the apostolic structure for kingdom advance. I can tell you we have not yet captured that blueprint holistically. That's why I took the time, respectfully speaking, to honor his majesty because of these kinds of apostolic understanding. You imagine now, respectfully speaking, the kind of approach of leadership and governance to his territory. Africa, I'm a man of prayer, I'm a man of fasting, and I'm a man of the word, but I'm a man of the whole counsel of God. There are many young people right now who are not supposed to be on the pulpit. They are being on the pulpit is causing trouble to them and to others. They, they are not finding definition, but the mentorship structure they have received has said, once you are spiritual, find a way of coming to stand here. And they stand here, yet they know Joseph, the, the, the throne is calling you, Daniel, the place of governance is calling you, Esther, you are fasting, but realize that you are being called to the palace. There will always be people like Anna the prophetess, their ministry stops at the temple. They never go out of the temple. If you take them out of the temple to be involved in secular things, you have destroyed them. They were called to stay. They will stay and wait. And Jesus will still come to the temple and meet them. By the time Nigeria has only preachers, I promise you that we are in trouble. We did a bad job. If a man of God produces only preachers, then we are in trouble. Because one policy from our parliament can stop the purposes of God. Are we together? I believe in influence. I believe in the whole counsel of God. Men of fire, but people who are sheep among wolves, having the intelligence of the kingdom and even the wisdom of Egypt. Listen, I have studied territorial transformation by the grace of God. And I can tell you the truth. When Jesus walked upon the earth, we need to study the ministry of Jesus. I can list for you all the people groups that Jesus influenced. Jesus did not do crusades alone. Read your Bible. There were times he was with tax. He, he, the same passion he took to preach in one crusade was the same passion he took to go to the house of an influential tax collector. What was the result? Many people were set free because the man was a corrupt man. Look at Jesus. One moment he's talking to thousands of people. The next moment he's alone with the woman at the well. With the same passion. The next moment he's investing time casting out one demon. Because that one man set free was equal to ten cities. Listen. 
Do you know when God comes, his emphasis is not to produce preachers alone. His emphasis is to produce witnesses and ambassadors. Please hear me, body of Christ. God is not in the business of raising preachers alone. Preachers alone will not get the job done. They never got the job done in the Bible alone. Read the Bible and see all those who walk. Wealthy people walked. Those in government walked. Joseph's walked. Esther's walked. Elijah walked. You can't teach Elijah about finances. That's none of his business. He's a radical prophet. However, you can't come and put Esther down and Joseph down and throw away economics. Some of you right now are about to lose your mantle and your call because you are following a template. If I'm spiritual, I must be this. No, no. There is a formation and there is a distribution of training patterns. We must have the intelligence. Listen, men of God, we must be matured enough to know what training pattern is allocated for what formation. You don't train a theater art student in an anatomy lab. It doesn't work that way. There are courses called general courses that everybody would do. Education, secular enlightenment gives us that knowledge. There are many Josephs who have been trained to become Elijah. They are going to fail. There are many Esthers who have been trained to become Elijah. And there are many Josephs, Elijahs, who are becoming Esthers. There are people who have no business with the palace. Their assignment is at the altar. They should be mastering the art of... The key is to recognize your place and appreciate other dimensions. Are we together? For as long as this revival produces only preachers i repeat we are in trouble no the revival must produce men of hunger don't get me wrong the revival must produce men of fire that intrinsically god is not looking for preachers god is looking for witnesses if the geography of your witness is the altar then so be it stay there and fan the flames but don't stop Joseph from getting to the palace because you don't need to be there. Your assignment may not need the palace. But if Joseph never gets to the palace, if Esther never sits down with Ahasuerus, there are Jews that will die. Now please look up. Can I tell you this? whether you are joseph or elijah or daniel or anna the prophetess the word of god prayer the spirit of god these are general causes no matter where you are going to whether you are getting to the palace it will still be by the spirit by the word are we together there are many people claiming they are prayer warriors and the grace that follows a prayer warrior is not there because their assignment is that of a Daniel and every time they want to go like Daniel they are surrounded by Elijah's so they feel guilty for being Daniel's and they are giving up the Elijah mantle the Daniel mantle to remain Elijah if you are not Elijah leave that place and find where Daniel is now watch this by the time we go to Hebrews 11 the Bible does not dichotomize them. When we get to Hebrews 11, both the Daniels, the Elijahs, the Esthers were given one word, elders. The Bible says they obtained, all of them, the ones who preached, the ones who manned government for Jesus, the ones who preserved the economy, they said all of them were called elders. I read my Bible well and the Bible says he gave unto some 
he gave unto some apostles he gave unto some prophets he gave unto some evangelists some pastors you went to school if they say he gave some that means there are others what did he give the rest because the same lord is rich unto all joseph of arimathea was not a prayer warrior but without joseph of arimathea he used his influence as a man of means to secure the grave where jesus was put in without joseph of arimathea the word oh grave where is your sting will not come to place the body of jesus was hanging on that cross prayer and fasting had finished his ministry it took influence to bring that body from the cross please hear me nigeria we need to redefine by the spirit the apostolic formation for a revival that lasts we have laughed at others who went before us some of us were arrogant enough to even be sarcastic towards them now the mantle has come upon us we should not fail a generation through pride we need to sit down and learn the patterns of the kingdom africa does not need preachers alone i repeat terrorists know this do you know not everybody who is a terrorist is kidnapping there are those who are financiers there are those who are the priests and the mediums you hardly see them outside but they are the ones who power those ones who go and fight they understand the formation hear me there are some of you based on your call and assignment you are not only going to fast and pray for 40 days the rest of your life will be in that consecration because you have the assignment of a watcher you have the assignment of a watcher you will be given the burden of nations you will be given the burden of territories you will pray down revival upon people but my caution for you is while you pray down revival don't teach that watchers are the only people needed in that formation aaron did not need to learn the wisdom of egypt but moses needed to learn the wisdom of egypt please hear me if you are naomi and you are root pay attention to your marriage that is where the mantle is if you are esther pay attention to your rising and influence because your assignment is in the palace if you are daniel make sure you keep having an excellent spirit get the phd become a professor don't let anyone tell you you cannot rise because you will need to sit on the board of companies and corporations and stand in for jesus why do you think the bible captured all these people if the bible wanted to teach you only one thing one person was enough there are 66 books full of different scenario coordinated together to produce the same thing in our midst here there are judges and justices when we are praying in tongues they pray too in our midst here there are senators honorable members house members when we are praying in tongues they pray too because that is general cause when we are fasting remember there are courses in the university it doesn't matter whether you are studying mathematics medical science architecture when it's time for that course everybody comes that course is prayer that course is fasting that course is doctrine learning the word of god but as far as the jurisdiction of your witness is concerned i repeat if you are mary go and read about mary